There's no respite for the East Ukrainian city of Lugansk, which has reportedly come under shelling again on Monday night, following an entire day of bombardment. Authorities in Lugansk report casualties and bodies in morgues. The fighting hasn't died down either, with an anti-government forces ambushing a military convoy, the remains of which you can see here. Artis Maria Fanoshina is in the epicentre of it all, the city of Lugansk. The situation here on the ground is very dramatic and tensions continue to escalate. Shelling almost never stops. We hear sounds of artillery day and night and even right now in the city suburbs. Tanks, mortars and multiple rocket launchers known as Grad or Hail are used there. Anti-government forces are saying that the Ukrainian troops are getting closer to the city centre and they are now not further than 10 to 20 kilometres from where we are now. Doctors are working 24-7 uh, and the city morgues are full. Death toll is continuing to rise from both sides, although it is very hard to say so far how many people were killed because the clashes are undergoing and casualties among civilian population are also on a constant rise because residential areas are often uh, get uh, hit. We visited many scenes shortly after shells landed there and the images we saw on the ground were really terrible. Some of them we cannot even show here. Meanwhile, the anti-government forces claim that they shot down the Ukrainian transport airplane. Uh, they have been uh, saying that it could have been carrying weapons. Several crew members have been captured. It happened not far from where we are now in Lugansk region. Kiev confirms that it lost the airplane, saying though that it was fired at from the Russian territory. And with all this escalation here in eastern Ukraine, obviously people continue to leave. As you can see, the city of Lugansk is already almost empty and people continue to cross the border into neighboring Russia. And another airplane carrying Ukrainian refugees uh, landed earlier in Russia. And people say they do not know when or if they will be able to come back. Well, despite Kiev's assurances of imminent victory, anti-government forces in the east have only ramped up their campaign. RT visited a recruiting station in Donetsk where we asked one volunteer what motivated him to sign up. Fascism must be stood up to. Our grandfathers fought and so will we. It is our duty. We must face it. These people don't want to talk to us. They don't want to look at us. They despise us.